In this video, we are going to use Biogene to estimate a discrete choice model and then to simulate the results using validation data in order to be able to validate our model. So the first thing is to use Biogene. Remember that to use Biogene we need the executable file, we need a model file, and we need estimation data. Here we have the Biogene um, exe file, here we have the Biogene model file, and here we have the estimation data set, EST. So let's get started. We want to select our model file. We then want to select our estimation data set, and then we estimate it. We can take a look at the results if we like. It's what we had in class. The cost and travel time coefficients are both negative and significant. Now we would like to validate our model using our validation data set. The first thing we have to do is take our .res file, the output file from Biogeme, SwissMetro.res, and we're going to change the name slightly. We're going to have an underscore res and have a dot mod at the end. Windows will give us a warning because we're changing the extension, but that's okay. And the, the res.mod file, or the res file, basically includes, it looks very much like a model file, except that it has the information of the results from the estimated model. So now we are ready to do our validation. We double click on Biogeme, select our model file, which in this case is SwissMetro underscore res dot mod. This time we're going to use our validation data set. And instead of estimating, we're going to simulate. If we close this, take a look, we have a new file called a dot enu, an enumeration file. And this we're going to open up with Excel. And what we have here, well, the, there's three things that are really the most important. One is choice ID. This is the actual choice that people made in their survey. P choice is the probability that the person, according to our model, would have chosen the alternative that they actually did choose. So here, there's a 68% chance that the individual would have chosen alternative two. And the last thing that's really important is simulator one, and that is the simulated choice that Biogeme gives for that individual for that particular choice. So um, now we can analyze this data to take a look at, uh, to try to validate and see how good a job our model did at predicting people's choices.